Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about formula load. So this is the front panel and this is the block diagram. You people all are familiar with that. Okay, so in the block diagram after right click, you see lot of programming function in the structure. You can see this is the formula node. Okay, then drag it like this way. So you can see a box. So inside this box, you can write some program just like in C language. So let's do some easy program. So in the this side, if you right click here, you can see there is add input. So you can name it like X and create one more input, create then add input. You can name it like Y and this is depend upon you. So how many input you need and how many output you need. So accordingly, you can do multiple input and multiple output. So let's do in the out. Let's add some output. So add output and you can name it Z. Okay. So and you have to give some input as you have written some input. So you have to do some create some control. So it came in the front panel and for Y also create some cont control and it came in the front panel and for Z you have to do some indicator create indicator so that you can see the output okay so let's write some easy program so Z equal to X plus Y so this is a very simple program so and if you put some Z uh, X equal to 4 and that Y equal to 5 then it will come as output variable or the input like 9 okay so there is some broken okay formula missing semicolon okay I have I forgot to put some on semicolon so let's okay now everything is okay so let's run the program see the output variable came 9 4 plus 5 equal to 9 okay so let's do some another program so I'm not changing the input and output variable and I will write some other program like if else statement is a familiar statement in C language or in every language so if x into y greater than equal to 0 then z equal to y divided by x then semicolon else z equal to y into x then semicolon okay fine so that means if x into y the value of x into y is greater than or equal to 0 then z value will come y divided by x and otherwise z value will come y into x okay so let's write something uh, for example I have written z uh, x equal to 2 and input variable 2 that means y equal to 7 okay so as this is more than uh, greater than or equal to 0 so it should it should come y divided by x that means 7 divided by 2 that is 3.5 let's run the program okay see this 3.5 came that means it's working perfectly and let's see if I will give here minus 5 then the multiplication of x into y that's minus 35 that is less than 0 that is violating this if statement so else statement will execute okay let's run the program see minus 35 so that means 7 into minus 5 equal to minus 35 so that's how you can use whatever you like that statement like you are using in any other language so this is actually very useful tool in lab view okay so let's stop today